Yeah, now I know, you know, there's so much made of the, the Ireland stuff with the the granny stuff. We all know what's happened since and, you know, don't really want to go into it. But just, you know, you made a, a point that, you know, obviously your kids were uh, another reason why it was hard for you to travel to Ireland games. There was obviously, there was a couple of rumours that you got bullied and um, mm -hmm. someone, someone said you, you had a wig and pulled it off. I don't know if you want to talk about this. If you don't want to talk about it, we won't. It's no problems. I was absolutely never in my life um, bullied at Irish setup ever. Um, I have absolutely great fond memories of my time there. The times I went there, I absolutely loved. I loved every minute of the trips I was on. Um, it was, t looking back, I found it was too hard, unfortunately, to make a sacrifice to go um, to every single squad. Yeah. Um, you know, I must have been called up for double amount of the times I was there. Um, I just couldn't make the sacrifice. It was just virtually impossible. Um, and it came to me picking, you know, my kids or myself, and uh, I had to, I had to, I had to just go be with my kids at home. I couldn't just, I couldn't just think, be, I couldn't be selfish and make that go that that move over to Ireland. There were times I didn't, times I couldn't, and I, I wasn't, I was not happy with the way I. Parted, of course not, and I've said that many times, and it's well documented that I haven't. But I think at some point it's going to come to a head, a head one way or another, because I just couldn't, I couldn't be consistent with going over there. And you know, I I, I speak to at the time I stopped Glenn Whelan and John Walters and all that stuff, and I always said, look, yeah, I'd love to go back, and I wish that it didn't happen that way. But in the moment, that's just the way things worked out. Um, I got on with every single person there. I had really good teammates there. Even when it all blew over and everything's done, even when I bumped into my teammates in restaurants or out of the shops or, you know, when I played against them, there was always hugs and chats and conversation. I never had an issue with a single teammate. There's not one person I didn't like there. And that's hand on heart. There's not one person I thought was a nugget. Not at all. Um, I got on with everybody, always performed the best of my ability there. My record speaks for itself. And yeah, definitely. Uh, and yeah, look, she's in a perfect world. I would have loved to continue all the way throughout. It just wasn't meant to be. Could I went back earlier? Yeah, potentially, but it's all dead and buried now.